What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to One on One with Frank Pinson. We have another awesome show lined up for you. Everyone knows this guy as maybe Mr. I'm Gonna Put You Out the Park, or you may know him as the director of the Matt Gasson Community Center. We all know him as Mr. Tom Pinson himself. Welcome, everybody, to One on One with Frank Pinson. Uh, this is Mr. Pinson. I'm thrilled to be on this show. I told him about this show a long time ago. He should have did it, but he didn't do it. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to One on One with Frank Pinson. We have the guy right here, the man that everyone knows, Mr. Tom Pinson himself. Thank you for coming on the show right here. So, um, being the director of the this grand place here, the Matt Gaston Community Center, tell us a little bit about it. Um, what do you guys do on a daily basis? Well, we're part of the city of Dalton. We are part of Parks and Recreation. We are the Matt Gaston Community Center, formerly known as the Dalton Community Center. We're here to uh, provide people with recreational activities, uh, gymnasiums. We have meeting rooms where they can come and meet. All groups meet here. We also now have a doctor's office and a WIC office here at the community center. <clears throat> Multicultural center here at the Matt Gaston Community Center. Multicultural. I know you guys do a lot of things. So going on your background, how did you come into the role of being the manager or the director of the Matt Gaston Community Center? Okay. I've always been a people person. I guess people oriented um, career and uh, I was actually working at the Whitfield County Juvenile Court mm -hmm. when the position <laughs> for the uh, uh, Dalton Community Center manager came available and I was asked by several people to uh, continue what I was doing with the youth to continue it here at the Community Center mm -hmm. and I actually applied um, uh, not thinking that I was actually going to get it but uh, just applied so that I can say that I did apply for that position <laughs> And probably within a week, I was called for an interview, and within a week after that, um, I was given the keys to the Dalton Community Center. So with this role, um, it trickles down, since it's a city um, employment job, um, the mayor holds a big part um, to this facility as well, correct? Yes. The mayor, uh, city and council, they actually are, um, they... I guess you could sign and say they're actually over any um, facility or program or that's held or, by the city of Dalton. Uh, uh, they actually uh, have to approve any, uh, they actually approve our budget, they actually approve any program this year. So that's why it's very important, you guys, you vote for your mayor. You got to go out and vote because it trickles down. This is mm -hmm. what everything come, boils down to. Mm -hmm. You got to go out there and vote. Okay? Yes. And actually a point that I could add to that, Mayor David Pennington, mm -hmm. when he was mayor, he actually came over to the old community center and he saw the great things that were going on at the community center. He also saw some of the bad things. He saw some of the bad things that were going on at the community center also. Mm -hmm. And he thought that we could do a much better job here at the community center and the city of Dalton could do do a much better job actually providing uh, programs for people of our community. That sounds great. So digging a little deeper here. So where did you grow up? Where did you go to high school? Where? How, how did you come up? Um, I was actually brought up in several different communities. Uh, my father was a college uh, professor. Uh, he taught at Fort Valley State. He taught at Gibbs uh, Junior College there in St. Petersburg, Florida. And then he ended up at North Carolina Central University. Mm -hmm. So we actually had about four different homes that we grew up in. I did my first two years of high school here in Dalton, ninth grade and tenth year. Tenth grade was here in Dalton. Then we moved to North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina, where I finished high school at Hillside High School. Hillside High School. Say. So after Hillside High School in North Carolina, um, I know tennis was pretty big down there. Do you know any, anyone that? Um, yeah, I actually graduated with John Lucas, who was a great tennis star there. Uh, he actually graduated from Hillside and went to Maryland and had a great career there in Maryland. Basketball. Also played basketball in Maryland. Yes, and his son, for all those guys my age, know what I'm saying? <laughs> his son uh, played for the Chicago Bulls. You might remember that uh, when they played against LeBron. You John know, Lucas in the, yeah, that was him. That's his mm -hmm. son. So um, when you went to college, um, what college did you go to? Okay, from Durham, North Carolina, we were um, 
in the 11th and 12th grade, we had counselors who pushed us into uh, to actually coming up with what we were going to do after we finished high school. And uh, it was going to either be a career or college, or you had to go and you had to find your job. And I took the uh, college uh, the college pathway, and I chose Morehouse College, which was a college that my father and my uncle and a couple other family members actually went to. So I chose Morehouse College, and I went to Morehouse College also because Dr. King went to Morehouse mm -hmm. College. That's in Atlanta too. So while you were at Morehouse, um, did you pledge any fraternity, or did, did you do any extracurricular activities? Mm. Well, I did do a lot of different curricular activities. I was in the Glee Club. I was in a couple of other clubs. But at that time, and probably now, there's only one fraternity that you can actually pledge. <laughs> and that fraternity is Omega Psi Phi. <laughs> OK. <laughs> That's what's up. So um, after the college days, I know while you were in college down in Atlanta, I know you didn't say, I want to come back to be the Matt Gaston Community Center um, Director or Manager. Do you remember after college, um, maybe you came back home, how did you get into that role? I know you spoke into that you were doing things with, mm -hmm. um, with the youth, um, and I know that position opened up, mm -hmm. but how did you know that that fit for you? Well, I think, first of all, um, I'm, a, I'm a big family person, and at that time, uh, my grandfather was still living, my grandmother was still here in Dalton, and my um, uh, grandfather on my father's side was still living here in Dalton, and I actually got the, I was actually recruited by Collins and Aikman to come back to Dalton, and um, I actually came back and took the interview, and I was given the job here in Dalton as a research chemist at um, Collins and Aikman. Mm. A chemist, people. I, what was my genes like? I, I don't know nothing about math or science. It must have skipped me. Yeah. But um, you more from your mother's. <laughs> no. <laughs> but okay, so with that, um, you saw the transition from what people call the old park to the new park. Mm -hmm. uh, Where things have changed. When it was first built, it was built for as a facility for the colored residents of our community and it actually transitioned into a facility where everybody was actually coming to the community center and so I was happy to be a part of that transition from I would say old school to new school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is. So before we get get out of here I know you guys have a lot of things going on here daily um, here at the Matt Gasson Community Center. How can people contact this facility or keep up with with what's mm -hmm. going on here? Uh, actually, you can go to the City of Dalton website, and uh, they have a link for the community center there, Parks and Recreation. And the community center also has a website itself. Uh, I don't actually manage that web page, but you can actually find a Dalton community, actually a Matt Gaston Community Center website, and uh, it actually lists some of the activities that, that we do here. All right, that's great. So you guys do that. Come up here, tour this place, and then until then, we're going to come back, and you know we're going to play this game that I never lose in, people. I never lose. I'm going to take him out, even though he might be my daddy. It don't matter. I hold no grudges. But here we go. Um, coming back next, we're going to play a game. What's up, guys? Thank you for coming back to One on One with Frank Pinson. So now we're at the portion of the show where we're going to play this game, and I'm going to have to take this guy out right here. I'm going to have to take him out. So today's game, we're going to play Who That Is, okay? So the rules to the game is, if you know, I'm going to show a series of pictures here. I'm going to show 10 pictures. Um, if you miss three out of the 10, you lose, okay? Mm -hmm. If you miss two or less, then you are the winner. Mm -hmm. So we have a series of pictures here. Um, I know that you, um, you interact with a lot of youth to older um, people here, being the manager or the director of the Matt Gaston Community Center. So we're going to show a series of pictures. Mm -hmm. If you know them, say their name. If you don't, you say who that is. Okay. First of all, I want to interact <laughs> that I suggested the name of the show being <laughs> Who Is That? No. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so if he wins, we'll change the name of this game to <laughs> Who Is That? If he loses, I get to call you Tommy. Tommy Not happening. <laughs> I get to call you Tommy Pinson. Okay, so here Not we go. Happening. Up first, guys, is this guy. Tell me. 
Cameron Searles. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, <laughs> uh, Stephon Curry. Steph Curry. Okay. <laughs> He's one for my cancer. <laughs> okay. That's one for one. Up next. <laughs> I watch him not know who this is. Martin Luther the King. Martin Luther the King. Okay. Martin Luther King Jr. Doctor Martin Luther King. Martin Luther the King. Okay. Much respect. Much respect. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he used to call me. <laughs> okay. All right. Drink. Drink. Okay. Uh, no more. You think I? I, I got him on this one. Hey, <laughs> I, I know I got him on this one now. What mm -hmm. about this? Mm. Pitbull. Oh my gosh! I, I, <laughs> he knows! Being an Omega, I know oh all the my, dogs. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what about this? <laughs> she looks like Chaka Khan. No, come Chaka. on. You used to say mm. my, my high school girlfriend. Oh, um. Orion put you down. Uh, uh, Selena. <laughs> there we go. I helped him on that one. Selena. But, okay. Ah. That's Selena. There you go. Boy. Been around too many kids. Hmm. Gonna have to pass on that one. <laughs> Say it. Say it. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. That's one. Who was that? That's one. That is Eminem. Oh. Come on, Slim Shady. Uh -oh. I got him on this one too, guys. I got him on this one. Mm. <laughs> Looks like an Olympian. Oh, okay. Bruce Jenner. Oh, Kate Jenner. <laughs> okay, okay, he said both of them. He's politically correct <laughs> on that one. Good job. We're almost done here. Come on, hold it down now. You have to know who this is. Some kind of name like Orion or Selenion <laughs> or Crayon. <laughs> Say it. Brianna. Nope. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. Come on, this is Nicki Minaj. Oh. Nicki Minaj, come on. Number one platinum artist in the world. Okay. That's two now. If he misses this last one, people, I get to call him Tommy P. <laughs> Or if I get this last one, he gets to change the name of the show. Oh, no. We're not going to oh. do that. So here we go. Last one. Well, that's the coolest guy in the world. <laughs> Who is this guy? That is a young Mr. Pinson. A young man. What were you doing at this age? How, how old were you right here? I was, actually the a freshman. <laughs> I was actually a freshman in college, coming back home from my first year at Morehouse and coming back home to Durham, North Carolina, being all of that. <laughs> that. All of that. That's it. Hey, that's our show for today. Thank you for tuning in. Is there any way people can keep up with you or the Matt Gasson Community Center? Yes, definitely call the Dalton Community Center here at 706-278-8205. I also have a seat. That's our show. Like we always say, don't just be great. Always inspire, motivate, and teach others to do the same. Until next time, we're out of here. <laughs>